defenders of Seoul. Hear me now! Moments ago, one fire team infiltrated the witnesses' monolith and shattered its hold on the traveler's light. Their courage bought us one last chance to finish this. But the witness still lives. The Guardians and their ghosts will face the witness. While we eliminate the remainder of its forces, our final chance at freedom lies on that field. This enemy has taken so much from us all. Elixni. Cabal. Awoken. Humanity. Hive. The Witness started this war long ago. But now, we end it. Please, bring him back. He's just a ghost. You raised an army. You can bring back one ghost. He sure shined bright back there, huh? Cade. What comes from the light returns to the light. My gal Sundance told me that. She also said we're all connected. Guardians, ghosts, the traveler. Now you tell the others this was my choice. My light. Nobody makes my fate but me. You're my favorite. Don't ever forget that. Definitely healing, but we've still got a lot of work to do. 
Surviving witness forces, clashes with the Lucent Brood. So much change. We've been fighting for so long. And now, we've won. I thought it would feel... different. Well... Maybe because we haven't celebrated it yet. Guardian. Ghost. You're just in time. Tell them... Cade wouldn't let a little work get in the way of having a good time. <laughs> You're right. For now, our task is appreciating this moment. And after that? We'll face the future when it comes.
Atlantis's death spread like a shockwave through its troops. The instant it was destroyed, things shifted. Most of the Witness's followers fled when it fell, but its most zealous believers are still carrying out its last orders. Ziva Warath is still out there, mortal, moving in the shadows. How salvation has turned on itself, with Aramis nowhere to be seen. Sabathun and the Lucent Brood are trying to claim control of the Pale Heart. With the Witness dead, both Scorn and Taken are directionless. To put it simply, in the wake of the Witness, a power vacuum has been created in the universe. Who knows what will try to fill it. But out of all of this, the most worrying thing is an aurora. It's bleeding out of the Traveler, light and darkness venting into open space over Earth. We designated a no-fly zone within 100 kilometers of the Aurora, enforced by Alliance cruisers. So far, no one has tested it. During the initial formation of the Aurora, a piece of anomalous matter erupted from the Traveler, moving away at relativistic speeds. We tracked one out to a distance between Neptune and Jupiter, in the orbital path of Nessus. Then we lost track of it. I've got hunters in the field investigating. Thank you, crew. I'll leave it to you. Copy that. I'm headed back out to the field myself. I... need to see if I can pick up Fickrell's trail. Find out what's going on with the Scorn. Keep me updated. And... good work. <laughs>